Welcome to our exploration of wormwood symbolism in the Bible. Today, we're going to dive deep into how this bitter herb appears in scripture, what it represents, and what it can teach us about faith, obedience, and God's judgment. First, let's talk about what wormwood is. Wormwood is a plant known for its strong, bitter taste. It's a type of herb that has been used for centuries in herbal medicine. But in the Bible, wormwood takes on a symbolic meaning, often associated with bitterness, suffering, and calamity. Wormwood in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, wormwood appears several times, each time with a significant message. For example, in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 18, it's used as a warning against turning away from God and following other gods. Wormwood symbolizes the bitter consequences that come from spiritual unfaithfulness. In Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 14 to 15, God declares that he will feed the people of Judah with wormwood as a judgment for their idol worship. Here, wormwood represents divine judgment and the resulting suffering due to their disobedience. Another key reference is in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 15, where the prophet Jeremiah describes his intense grief and suffering after the destruction of Jerusalem, saying, He has filled me with bitterness. He has sated me with wormwood. This shows how wormwood symbolizes the deep sorrow and pain that accompany God's judgment. In Proverbs chapter 5, verse 4, wormwood is used to describe the outcome of engaging in sinful behavior, like adultery. It represents the spiritual and emotional bitterness that results from unwise choices. Finally, in Amos chapter 5, verse 7, wormwood is a metaphor for the perversion of justice. The prophet Amos condemns those who turn justice into wormwood, showing how corruption leads to bitterness and suffering. Now let's move to the New Testament. Wormwood makes a dramatic appearance in the book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 8, verses 10 to 11, a star named Wormwood falls from heaven, turning a third of the waters bitter and causing many to die. This symbolizes a catastrophic event that brings widespread suffering and serves as a warning of divine judgment. The bitter waters represent the corrupting influence of sin and the consequences of rejecting God. Wormwood symbolism isn't just limited to the Bible. In ancient cultures, wormwood was often associated with both healing and harm. For instance, in ancient Greek and Roman medicine, wormwood was used to treat various ailments, but it was also known for its bitterness and potential toxicity. This dual character of wormwood, capable of both healing and harming, adds depth to its symbolism as something that can be both a cure and a curse, depending on its use. Beyond its use in ancient texts, wormwood is also known today as an essential oil. Extracted from the plant, wormwood essential oil has been used for its therapeutic properties, such as relieving pain, stimulating digestion, and combating parasites. However, it also contains thujone, a compound that can be toxic in large doses. This makes wormwood a powerful but potentially dangerous substance, reflecting its biblical symbolism of both judgment and healing. So, what can we learn from the symbolism of wormwood in scripture? Wormwood serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of turning away from God. It represents the bitterness and suffering that follow disobedience and spiritual unfaithfulness. But it also calls us to repentance, encouraging us to return to God and avoid the spiritual bitterness that comes from a life apart from Him. My final thoughts on wormwood symbolism. Wormwood's appearances in scripture and its symbolism offer us profound lessons on faith, obedience, and the importance of staying true to God's ways. By understanding these symbols, we gain deeper insights into the spiritual messages of the Bible and the importance of living a life aligned with God's will. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Wormwood symbolism in the Bible. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with others who might find this exploration meaningful. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking the truth in God's word.